Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera to everyone. So, um, we are moving to the second part of this topic on the soil classification. Okay, previously we already discussed on um, particle size analysis test which is include of semic analysis and also sedimentation analysis. So, remember there are two sets of testing. Okay, one is particle size analysis, another one is ultimate limit test okay for laboratory testing okay to be carried out in order for you to classify the soil okay before you can classify the soil there's a two sets of testing that you need to carry out so it means that you need those two sets of data okay so you have particle size and also other burning test and remember when you're talking about particle size analysis which means that the assessment okay the assessment is based on what based on the Okay, which means you are looking at the size and also the shape of the particles. Okay, so you can quantify, okay, quantify the percentage of, okay, you are able to quantify the percentage of coarse and also the percentage of fine. Okay, but if you're talking about sieve analysis, okay, definitely you can get this too. You get coarse, uh, percentage of coarse and also percentage of fine. But in addition to that, okay, you can also identify the percentage of gravel and also the percentage of sand, okay, which is belongs to coarse grain soil. But you have no idea, okay, what are the percentage, okay, of clay and also what are the percentage of silts. You cannot get this one from safe analysis, okay. You cannot get, you cannot further, uh, identify what are the types of fine grain soil. So if let's say, okay, from the safe analysis result, from the safe analysis results, you know what are the percentage of fine grain soil, okay, which has, for example, that it has a sufficient amount of fine grain soil. Let's say it has more than 12%. So we're talking about this number, okay. Let's say it has more than 10 or 12% of fine grain soil, which considered as significant okay to influence to influence the behavior of soil then you want to know that plant percent is belongs to what which one is domain either it is clay or silk so what you need to do is to carry out this ultimate limit test okay so from ultimate limit test okay the de determinations is actually based on moisture content Okay, but you are looking for what? You are looking for types of fine grain soil. So you are looking at the fine, uh, types of fine grain soil. It's either clay or silt. Which one is dominant? So there's nothing to do with coarse. You are not talking about coarse anymore. In ethical limit test, you are not talking about coarse grain soil. No. You just want to know what are the types of fine grain soil. Alright, so therefore, okay, from the sieve analysis test, okay, whatever particle that passing sieve number 200, okay, whatever particle that sieve passing sieve number 200, that would be your sample, okay, sample for ultimate limit test. So for ultimate limit test, you have two tests, which is liquid limit and also plastic limit okay you need to carry out those two testing okay in order for you to further identify the types of fine grain soil either it's dominated by clay or silt so what is actually ultimate limit test okay this test is carried out to further classify type of cohesive soil okay remember when i say that cohesive okay cohesive soil it means that we are talking about fine grain soil okay and the definition is associated to moisture content which deform okay okay which deform from plastic to liquid okay so if you look at this figure okay look at this figure okay we know that this is your moisture content so it means that more water it means that you have more higher moisture content so the stage of Soil would change from brittle to solid and finally to liquid. Okay, from brittle to plastic and finally to will transform to liquid stage of soil with increasing 
moisture content. Okay, so based on the data, the soil may classify to certain classes of brittle solid, plastic solid, and also liquid stage. Okay, so what is actually the plastic limit? Okay, plastic limit is the limit between plastic and brittle failure. So this is your plastic limit. Okay, is the limit between plastic and also brittle solid. So there is a boundary that change the soil from brittle to solid. So this is the minimum. Okay, what you can say the minimum amounts of water content. Okay, water content or moisture content. Okay, the plastic limit and liquid limit both. Eh? When talking about plastic limit and also liquid limit is both. We are talking about determinations of moisture content. So the plastic limit is the minimum amounts of soil to behave as plastic. Okay, that is the minimum amounts of soil okay, to behave as plastic. And when talking about liquid limit, it means that you're talking about the moisture content. Okay, talking about liquid limit, it means that you're talking about the moisture content in the soil when it stops acting as liquid. Okay, it stops acting as liquid and start acting as plastic solid. Okay, that means by liquid limit. Okay, which means that the liquid limit is the minimum amounts of soil. Okay, not minimum amount of soil, sorry, the minimum amounts of water. Okay, for that particular soil to behave as liquid. Okay, to behave as liquid. But what actually plastic limit and liquid limit? It is both are the moisture content. Okay, but the moisture content when the soil behave as what stage of soil either it's behave as plastic or it behave as a liquid and it is a boundary between the transitions okay for example the plastic limit is the transition between from brittle to plastic and liquid limit is the transition from plastic to liquid and what is actually you're looking for from plastic limit and liquid limit from plastic and liquid limit okay you are looking for actually is the plasticity index okay the pi value be careful pi is not similar to pl okay pl we're talking about pl is plastic limit pi is plasticity index so plasticity index here is liquid limit minus plastic limit okay pi is liquid limit Plus minus plastic limit. So when you have a similar type of soil, okay, being tested, okay, one is tested for liquid limit, one is at the plastic limit. Definitely, the liquid limit water content must be higher than plastic limit water content, okay, for a given similar type of soil, okay, because we know that when talking about liquid, it is start to behave as a liquid, okay. After carrying out both liquid limit and plastic limit, the results then will be further analyzed to enable cohesive soils to be classified physically and the probability uh, type of fine grain soil to be assessed. So classification is usually accomplished by means of plasticity, plasticity chart as shown here. So this is the plasticity chart. Okay, so this is the plasticity chart. Okay, uh, this is the simple versions of plasticity chart. Okay, the classification of uh, fine grain soil is achieved by referring to the A line. Okay, you are refers to the A line. Okay, to the A line where any point above A line is considered as clay, while below A line is silty soil. So above A line is clay and below A line is uh, silty soil. So the percentage of liquid limit. You need to know the percentage of liquid limit. Okay, that will be the indicator of plasticity behavior. So if the liquid limit is more than 50%, okay, if more than 50%, that will be considered as high plasticity. Why? If it's lower than 50%, then it will be considered as low plasticity. Okay, you can also refer to the complete versions of plasticity chart where details um, stage of plasticity ranging from uh, very low to extremely high plastic can be defined. So there is a more detailed plasticity chart where it will further categorize it. Maybe this one is very low, low. Maybe there is a uh, intermediate, okay, medium high or very 
um, high or whatsoever. Okay, so that's a detail one. But to me, it is actually sufficient to just identify which one is high, which one is low. So the indication is looking at the liquid limit value, okay, if more than 50%, it means that it can be categorized as high plasticity. If less than 50%, then it would be low plasticity. What is low, what is high? Okay, definitely you have to figure out first what are the types of your fine grain soil. Let's say it is above a line. Okay, it's above a line, so we know that it's a clay. So, to further um, describe okay, that clay, okay, we want to check in terms of its plasticity okay because everything is about plasticity now when you carry out alter limit test you have to determine liquid limit and plastic limit value right the reason is why because you want to get the plasticity index value so everything is about plasticity so once you already know what is the types of fine grain soil you want to know whether it's a high plasticity or low plasticity let's say it is more than 50% liquid limit, which we know that it is high plasticity. And from the previous analysis, you know that it is clay. So it means that it is clay with high plasticity. So it is a clay and with high plasticity. Okay. So another thing that you need to know is um, previously when you're talking about cost, okay, when you're talking about cost, okay, okay. After you identify whether that cost is gravel or it is sand, the other things that you need to describe is in terms of what? You're talking about its grading. Okay, you're talking about grading. So it means that when we're talking about grading, it's either well graded or poorly graded. So it, that is for cost. But not if you're talking about fine. Okay, if you're talking about fine grain soil, okay. You want to know whether it's clay or seed. So the other things that you want to describe for clay and seeds, okay, is its plasticity behavior. Okay, and this plasticity behavior we can only determine based on the determinations of moisture content. So you want to know whether it is high or low plasticity. Okay, so that is actually the other things to describe for coarse and also for fine so if any times you're talking about course it means that it can be also further described as well graded gravel or well graded sand or poorly graded gravel or poorly graded sand but when talking about fine you cannot say that it is well graded clay no okay well graded seed no you're talking about its plasticity okay nothing to do with the grading for fine grain soil the other way around also for cost okay you're not talking about high plasticity gravel no low plasticity sand no okay plasticity is only for fine if you're talking about grading then you're talking about cost all right okay and from the previous uh, video also for a plastic limit you'll see that how they determine the amounts of water okay indicate that is the value of plasticity limit when they have to roll okay to roll the sample initially uh, they make it the sample into this um, shape like a ball shape and then they divide a little bit okay, take certain portions and they roll it into three okay three and they need to observe the appearance of cracks they need to observe the appearance of crack let's say even though before they, they roll the Okay, again, you have to observe the appearance of crack. Okay, you need to observe the appearance of crack. Okay, if let's say before you roll the sample, it's already cracked. So it's already cracked. It means that it is in the stage of what? It is in the stage of solid. Okay, you're talking about plastic. So plastic is the... What it means by plasticity is the ability of the material to be mold. So when it reaches the plastic limit, it means that it starts to be mold. Okay, start to be mold. If it's already cracked, it means that it is here. Okay, it's not even reached the plastic limit. So we want to check the cracks happens okay at any directions, vertical or horizontal, exactly when this straight okay reach 3 mm diameter. So the cracks can 
only first observed at this size. If let's say beyond 3 mm, you still cannot see the crack, which means that it's already exceed it. It's already exceed the plastic limit. Okay, which means that you put too much water. If before 3 mm is already cracked, means that it's too dry. Okay, you want to see these cracks happen exactly at 3 mm. Then, it will consider as the plastic limit. Okay, um, I think uh, that's all for now. Okay, we already discussed on two sets of testing. Okay, that you need prior classifications of soil which is based on particle size analysis and also other limit tests okay for particle size analysis you have uh, safe analysis and also hydrometer tests and for other limit tests you need to get the liquid limit and plastic limit value okay so um later on part three we will discuss on some standards to be used okay for proper classification. With that, thank you very much. See you later.